What's up guys, Jesse Think Blue 77 And today is going to be a mail day I uh, picked up a few uh, pre-war cards As you can see in front of you I uh, got my very first Old Judge cigarettes card uh, So this is Marty Sullivan He was born in uh, 1862 and he played in the majors from 1887 to 1890. So he only played five years in the majors. Uh, as you can see here, he's with the Chicago White Stockings. And then uh, he played for the Indianapolis Hoosiers in 1889. Boston Bean Eaters from 90 and 91. And then the, the remainder of 91 with the Cleveland Spiders. So, he's not like a Hall of Fame or anything, but my thing was I just wanted a really nice example of an old judge card. I mean, these are pretty pricey. If you want a Hall of Fame or anything, you're, you're looking at, you know, some pretty expensive cards. So, for me, just starting off with this one here, I just wanted a real good example because the majority of these cards that you find now, they're in pretty bad shape i mean this is a one but i mean it's it looks really really good registration ph photography everything's really nice on this card uh reason i got a one is the back so it seems like it might have been in a scrapbook they removed it which i don't mind because these are blank backs so as you can see there the card looks just amazing um so I'm just tapping into these. So thing I liked about this one, this set consists of like, I want to say over 500 cards, maybe somewhere around the neighborhood of 500. And it also consists of 40 different uh, teams, major leagues and minor leagues, and about 20 or so different poses that you'll find in this set. Now this one here, I like the fact that he's got the uniform. No gloves like they used to use. They didn't use gloves before, back in the 1880s. And I like, you know, I mean, just think about it back then, photography, you had to stand still for, you know, X amount of time before they can get the photograph in. So what they did too, and as you can see the baseball here, sometimes they would tie a string to it, just so it could seem like it was in the air. So I don't know how they did it, fish line, I don't know <laughs> if they even had that back then. But um, just everything about it, the background, because a lot of them seem like they're just studio blank back backgrounds. Some you'll see backgrounds like this. Some they look like they're outside. But for the most part, a lot of these are in pretty rough shape. They look like they've been really faded out. And this one just had really good color. And I like the price on it, so pick this one up. And, I mean, check it out. Let me bring it in a little bit so you can see. I mean, really nice card. Um, this player, Marty Sullivan, his career, the five years he was there uh, that he played, he averaged 273 with 26 home runs and 22 RBIs. So I'm thinking for back then, dead bar, I mean, he was pretty decent. Uh, but from what I could find out as well, um, I think he died pretty young. He died at the age of 31. He died in, uh, 18, what was it? 1995, I believe. So he died pretty young. Um, so there it is. My first old judge. Hopefully I can pick up a few more. Cause I mean, I really like these type of cards. Old judge. Um, Oh, another thing, too, with this, as you can see, he's a left fielder. These are uh, distributed by the Goodwin Company, which is like the Old Judge and the Gypsy Queen cigarettes. So there it is. And then my second pickup is this one that I've been wanting to get for quite some time. So this is your 1922 E21 American Caramel Wilbert Robinson. Um, 
card with this one I've had in my list for about a year now. Initially, I wanted to get the 1916 uh, example of Wilbert, but there was a couple of times I got outbid. So, let those go. And then, saw this one pop up. Price was right. The grade was right. And jumped all over this one. And to be honest, the photography on this one is... I like this one a lot more than I did the other one. Uh, so, as you can see here, his old uni. He's got a big uh, type of bag there on him. Who knows if he has maybe sporting equipment on it. I don't know, but... Wilbur Robinson, also known as Uncle Robbie, uh, born 1864. He played his career from 1886 to about 1902. Uh, he was a catcher. He played for the Philadelphia Athletics from 1886 to 1890. Baltimore Orioles, 1890 to 1899. St. Louis for one year, which was the 1900. And then back to the Orioles in 1901 and 1902. So, I guess being a catcher gave him kind of the opportunity also to manage. So then, in, uh, he managed the Orioles and then the Brooklyn Dodgers in, from 1914 to 1931. So back then they had a few different names. They were the Bridegrooms. They were also called the Super Bass Dodgers, but when he had when he managed the team for those eighteen years, they were also known as the Robins, which were pretty much named after him. Uh, the Brooklyn Robins, Robinson. So there's that, and he managed to get two pennants, I believe with the Dodgers, and then retired in 1931. Um, and then he entered the Baseball Hall of Fame in 1945. So there's this card. been wanting an example of Wilbur Robinson for quite some time. Now I got to move on and grab a few more Dodgers <laughs> before uh, that I have on my list as well. So there it is, my two pickups of the week, I guess, or two weeks, I had these, and um, that's it, well, and before that, let me show you two, pull this one out, I think I've shown this one before, but here's a Saturday evening post, so what I've been doing, I've also had a few of these, old Saturday evening post, baseball edition, I like the covers, I like baseball art in general. So here's this one. It's really nice shape. Picked it up a few years ago. This one's from April 6, 1910. And if you see here, I mean, look at the art in this. This was done by Anton Fisher. So if you don't know, look him up. Um, he was kind of like the Norman Rockwell of this era. He worked for the Saturday Evening Post, I believe, from... I want to say 1909 to about the 30s, the early 30s. He did a lot of their covers. And I really like these uh, baseball covers. And the interesting part is, since I like the history of it, I mean, you can see how they, uh, all the stories, advertisements they had in here. I mean, it's really cool to, read some of this stuff and really like it kind of takes you back to that era which is a you know i really like all that i mean look at this here for example pencil sharpener back in the day how cool is that macy's advertisements i mean kellogg's i mean it has a lot of cool advertisements and stories so that's why I like them. And then I also pulled out a glove from the era. This one's from the 1910s. This has a one inch webbing. It's a Dapper and Maynard glove. 
also with the sporting goods uh store uh patch on there and then got the rivet there with the dapper man your dog lucky dog really good condition I actually uh restored this one to back to life a little bit when i got it, it was really rough so after a, about a week of uh oiling it up well not oiling it up but you know giving it conditioner and stuff kind of brought it back to life also really good condition no tears no holes no ink which makes it really nice one of my better examples in my collection so there it is so guys those are my pre-war hope you enjoyed and uh again as always thank you guys for watching and i'll see you on the next one